Hi, and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about a favorite subject of mine, Twin Flames. So, a twin flame. When a soul is created, it is divided in half into two complete but equal souls. These souls have the same spiritual blueprints. They have the same spiritual and divine DNA um, in the soul. And they are split so that the soul can uh, learn and grow and evolve. And that other half uh, of the whole is your twin flame. There's only one soul in the, all of the creations that has the same exact soul blueprint and the same exact spiritual DNA, divine DNA that matches yours. The purpose of a twin flame is soul evolution. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> the reason you guys were split apart at the inception of your soul was so that your soul can learn and grow and evolve. It does that according to your soul blueprint. And because you have the same, the same blueprint and the same divine DNA, uh, usually they, you know, you'll want the same things. You want to learn the same things now. That doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna learn them in the same way, but you're gonna have the same lessons to learn. And when one half learns, the other half learns on the soul level. But with everything, you both evolve. My experience that most of the time one twin is on like say earth or you know one plane and the other their twin flame is on another plane like for example i'm here and my twin's on the other side is that always the case no <laughs> no it isn't your twins twin flames no matter what plane you're on you always have a soul connection it's kind of like a think of it like an umbilical cord you're always connected to your twin flame, period. The thing that you need to know about the twin flame relationship is that it is not perfect at all. <laughs> okay, because you, because you have the same lessons that you choose to learn and because you have the same soul blueprint and because you're both working towards soul evolution, it's not always going to be perfect. Sometimes you're going to butt heads, <laughs> you know, even though you both have, um, you know, a, a goal and a purpose and I really want to get this done. You're not always going to do it exactly the same way. <laughs> it's not perfect. And it's not a perfect love either. There's a difference between perfect love and divine love. Divine love is divine at its core it's divinity it's you know divine from god the creator of all that is you know your higher power uh the one that created you divine love is beyond all human comprehension our brain cannot comprehend what that kind of love and what that level of love actually is because there's no way it can understand it um our you know our bodies can feel it on some levels um, but our brain's just like, so it puts the label of perfect on it. So that's in my brain, the difference. Twin flames are also not opposite. If you have the same exact spiritual um, DNA and the same exact soul blueprint, how in the world can you possibly be opposites of each other? You can't. You have the same lessons, the same ideals, the same things that you're interested in, for example. You can't really be opposite and have this, be the same on the soul level because the whole entire twin flame relationship is based upon 
the soul at a soul level because we are trying to achieve soul evolution so if all of that is the same how can you be opposite of each other Everybody wants to have a twin flame that's a celebrity. Even if you're a celebrity, you want to have a celebrity twin flame. When I find out about Chico, when he, you know, we first connected, um, I recognized him because he was famous before he left. Um, and when I found out he was my twin flame, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Me and like a billion people all over the world believe that, right? Okay, prove it to me. Which is why I wanted to do all this research and you know, to, to prove it to myself beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's true. A lot of people, that's their only goal, is just to say that they're connected with someone who's famous. And that's missing the point. <laughs> because if you have the same lessons and you have the same goals and you have the same soul blueprint and spiritual DNA, your lessons are going to be the same, but how you choose to learn them can be greatly different. When a twin flame comes into your life, no matter how they come into it, it tends to turn things upside down to wonky because you're learning lessons by coming together and you know, working for towards the same goals. And a celebrity, you know, God love them. <laughs> has chosen to learn their lessons on a global level. That is celebrity at a soul level. Like they're choosing to learn in front of the entire world, which is kind of funny because, you know, most celebrities want to do their job because they have to, to make money and they are famous. And then they go home and they're behind huge walls. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. There are a ton of definitions, purposes, steps, reasons, whatever's, rules when it comes to twin flames. Everybody's got their own. <laughs> and I used to think, but honestly, it's a good thing. You know, you should define your own relationship. Yes, read if you're curious. Yes. Um, Definitely, you know, if you really want to learn more, read, watch videos, explore, meditate, do all of that because it's important. But don't let somebody else's rules, like even mine, define your relationship. You define your twin flame relationship. That's part of the lesson that you're supposed to learn, especially if you come together you know, like in this current existence, no matter how you come together, whether you're both here or you're split between planes, you know, when you come together, that's part of the lesson is to, to you know, how are we going to do this? You know, make your own rules. A lot of people won't tell you to do that. They'll say, no, it's all this is very strict. No one can do your relationship except you. Remember that. you start reading about twin flames you will notice that pretty much everybody that talks about twin flames talks about stages why I'm mentioning them is because it's important to understand what they mean to you it's not about oh we're in stage four he's a runner I'm a chaser I'm always chasing after him he's always running away if you keep telling yourself that you're always chasing your twin flame your brain is going to become convinced that I'm always chasing after it. So have an understanding of what these things are. But if, for example, they don't fit your specific situation, don't limit yourself in there. When you lock yourself into that vibration and that energy, you're limiting yourself, which leads to soul relationships. Twin flames and soulmates are not the same. You only have one twin flame, but soulmates, you can have a bajillion of, okay? Soulmates come into your life um, at several times for several different re reasons, but it's usually, you know, to help you learn. You know, 
know, the idea of, you know, your, your true love, your one true love that comes to you and, you know, rescues you somehow and pulls you out of your normal life and happily ever after. That actually comes from Twin Flames. The notion of Twin Flames goes way back. Like, I think it was Socrates or Plato or both that actually wrote about Twin Flames. Twin Flames in the Bible. You know, so these are millennia old. <laughs> you know, it's not a new concept. Like every relationship, you're gonna have arguments. It's gonna be up and down. But with Twin Flames, the roller coaster can make you sick sometimes, okay? <laughs> so, what do you say? idea in your mind that a soul blueprint actually looks like a regular blueprint for a building except instead of a building it maps out your current lifetime soul blueprints for each twin are exactly the same what do i mean by that do we plan out to have the same exact life no because circumstances are always going to affect you you know but we do plan out to have to learn the same exact lessons, sometimes relatively at the same time. These lessons, no matter how big or no matter how small, are mapped into your soul blueprint. So if you don't get them this time around, they'll go back on the map for the next incarnation. If you wonder why, why does this keep repeating? Why do I keep doing that? It's because you haven't learned it. <laughs> it's still in your soul blueprint. <laughs> The short answer, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Rem don't forget, you are infinitely connected and divinely connected to your twin flame. It's like, you know, like I said, like an umbilical cord that, you know, you have between yourself and your twin that carries through every existence, every lifetime, no matter what plane you are, no matter what planet you are on, no matter what galaxy y'all are in. If you're next door to each other, there is like this cord that connects you. You can actually set your intention to sit down and meditate and no matter what plane, whether they're on earth or on the other side, uh, that your twin flame, wherever they are, you can actually set your intention, you know, and then go into meditation and say, I want you to come to me, visit me on a soul level and have it, you know, your conscious brain retain it. You can actually find out their sex, their name, where they're at. And then eventually when you guys come together, you're like, ooh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Haven't we done this already? Yeah, I think we have. <laughs> so it is possible to find your twin flame. I don't use, I don't like to use the word find. I like to use the word manifest because you're never disconnected from each other, no matter where you are. Uh, so there's no need to find them. You just have to manifest the opportunity to actually come into contact with your twin flame, whether they are in this plane, the other plane, if they live on Mars, if they live in another galaxy, doesn't matter. You can always connect on a soul level. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I actually do, I love making these uh, 10 things. So please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love.